Unlock the chilling depths of human depravity with our top 10 serial killer horror movies. From iconic slashes to psychological thrillers, prepare to be gripped by terror as we journey into the minds of the most sinister killers ever portrayed on screen. Join us as we explore the darkest corners of cinema's most terrifying tales. Number 10. Zodiac, 2007. Dives into the real-life terror of the Zodiac Killer, a figure who haunted San Francisco in the late 1960s and early 1970s. David Fincher's masterful direction meticulously recreates the chilling atmosphere of the era as detectives and journalists tirelessly pursue the elusive murderer. The film's attention to detail and its exploration of obsession make it a standout in the genre. American Psycho 2000 offers a different perspective, delving into the mind of a wealthy New York investment banker with a psychopathic alter ego. Christian Bale's performance captivates as the veneer of sanity cracks, revealing a terrifying inner darkness. Number 9. American Psycho 2000 delves into the decadent world of 1980s Manhattan, where Patrick Bateman, a wealthy investment banker, hides a sinister secret beneath his polished exterior. Christian Bale delivers a mesmerizing performance, portraying Bateman's descent into madness with chilling precision. As Bateman indulges in grotesque acts of violence while maintaining his facade of normalcy, the film blurs the line between reality and delusion, leaving audiences questioning the true extent of his crimes. Director Mary Harron crafts a darkly satirical critique of capitalism and excess, making American Psycho a thought-provoking exploration of the depths of human depravity. Number 8. Scream, 1996. Revitalized the slasher genre with its clever meta-horror approach. Directed by Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, the film follows high school students targeted by a masked killer who seems to be following the rules of typical horror movies. With its self-aware characters and sharp dialogue, Scream both pays homage to and subverts the conventions of the genre. The iconic ghost face killer became instantly recognizable, adding a new chapter to horror iconography. Its blend of suspense, humor, and genuine scares made Scream a cultural phenomenon spawning sequels and influencing a generation of horror filmmakers. Number 7. Saw 2004 introduced audiences to the twisted games of the Jigsaw Killer, a sadistic mastermind who traps his victims in elaborate death traps designed to test their will to live. Directed by James Wan and written by Leigh Wannell, the film's gritty atmosphere and inventive gore set a new standard for modern horror. Saw explores themes of morality and survival, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats with its unpredictable plot twists and intense psychological tension. Despite its low budget, the film's success spawned a highly successful franchise, solidifying its place in horror history as a game-changing classic. Number 6. The Strangers, 2008. A home invasion horror film that taps into primal fears with chilling effectiveness. Directed by Brian Bettino, the movie follows a couple staying at a secluded vacation home who are terrorized by three masked strangers. What sets the strangers apart is its relentless tension and sense of dread, amplified by the fact that the attacks are seemingly random. The film's minimalistic approach, coupled with its eerie soundtrack and sparse dialogue, creates a claustrophobic atmosphere that lingers long after the credits roll. The Strangers is a stark reminder that sometimes the scariest threats come from those we least expect. Number 5. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, 2011 A gripping adaptation of Stieg Larsson's best-selling novel, directed by David Fincher. The film follows journalist Michael Blomqvist and hacker Lisbeth Zalander as they investigate a decades-old disappearance uncovering a series of brutal murders along the way. Rooney Mara delivers a captivating performance as the enigmatic and resourceful Lisbeth, while Daniel Craig brings depth to the role of Blomqvist. Finch's signature style infuses the film with a dark and atmospheric tone, perfectly capturing the chilling Scandinavian setting. 
The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is a compelling thriller that keeps audiences on the edge of their seats. Number 4. The Bone Collector, 1999. A gripping crime thriller directed by Philip Noyce, based on the novel by Jeffrey Deaver. Denzel Washington stars as quadriplegic ex-cop Lincoln Rhyme, who teams up with rookie detective Amiya Domaghi, played by Angelina Jolie, to hunt down a serial killer in New York City. Despite Rhyme's physical limitations, his sharp mind and expertise in forensics prove invaluable in the pursuit of the elusive murderer. The film's tense atmosphere, intricate plot, and strong performances from its leads keep audiences enthralled as they unravel the mystery alongside the detectives. The Bone Collector is a compelling and suspenseful ride from start to finish. Number 3. The House That Jack Built, 2018 A controversial psychological horror film directed by Lars von Trier, Matt Dillon delivers a chilling performance as Jack, a highly intelligent but sadistic serial killer who narrates his gruesome murders over the course of 12 years. Von Trier's unflinching exploration of Jack's psyche delves into themes of art, morality, and human depravity. The film's graphic violence and dark humor sparked intense debate among audiences and critics alike, with some praising its audacity and others condemning its shock value. The House That Jack Built is an unsettling and thought-provoking examination of evil in its most visceral form. Number 2. Wolf Creek, 2005 A chilling Australian horror film written and directed by Greg McLean. The story follows three backpackers who become stranded in the remote outback and soon fall prey to a sadistic serial killer named Mick Taylor, portrayed menacingly by John Jarrett. Inspired by real-life events, the film's gritty realism and isolated setting amplify its terrifying atmosphere. McLean masterfully builds suspense as Mick stalks his victims through the vast and unforgiving landscape, turning their adventure into a fight for survival. Wolf Creek is a visceral and relentless descent into terror, leaving viewers shaken long after the credits roll. You know, I'm not whinging, am I? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to do something, uh, Lizzie, uh, so as that you don't try and run out on me again, you know? It's a, it's a, it's a little trick uh, they used to... Number one, I Saw the Devil, 2010. A South Korean psychological horror thriller directed by Kim Ji-Woon. The film follows a secret agent named Kim Soo-hyun, portrayed by Lee Byung-hun, who seeks revenge on a sadistic serial killer played by Choi Min-sik. As Soo-hyun descends into darkness to catch his prey, the line between justice and vengeance blurs, leading to a gripping game of cat and mouse. I Saw the Devil is known for its intense and brutal action sequences, as well as its exploration of the human psyche and the consequences of obsession. It's a riveting and harrowing journey into the depths of darkness. As we reach the end of our journey through the shadows, remember to subscribe for more spine-tingling content. Leave a comment below with your favorite serial killer horror film. And don't forget to like and share this video with fellow horror enthusiasts. Until next time, stay safe, if you can.